Team 4's Jim Parsons talking directly to the people who saw the report. Jim. And Michelle and Andrew, no matter where you live, if you're on a public water system, you get one of these water quality reports mailed to you once a year. But what you'll never see in this report is how much hexavalent chromium is in your water. Why not? Because there's no state or federal requirement to test for it. Two days after a national study found the suspected carcinogen hexavalent chromium in Pittsburgh's tap water, it's still on the minds of the people who drink that water. I thought it was pretty scary. Why? Because I drink tap water all the time, and I live right here in the city of Pittsburgh, and it's kind of scary if we're ingesting that all day, every day. County health officials say there is no reason for fear. Well, right now, that study that's out, we're still looking at it, and it really raises more questions than answers. The study by Environmental Working Group found 0.88 parts per billion of hexavalent chromium in Pittsburgh's water. That's 14 times higher than the amount the state of California wants to set as its limit. But right now, there are no limits. Not in California, not in Pennsylvania, not anywhere in the U.S. That may change next year as federal regulators consider national limits. Yeah, and the EPA right now is considering setting limits for that. Is that something that you think that they should be testing for? Absolutely. Absolutely. Tell me. Absolutely. Tell me. <laughs> Water is life. But the, why isn't the water company doing it on their own, or the people that are responsible for selling water to the citizens of Pittsburgh? That's exactly what Myron Ardowit wants to know. He's head of Pennsylvania's Clean Water Action. Total chromium almost always shows up in our annual report, so they know that there's chromium there. Is there hexavalent chromium? Probably, um, but how much, we don't know. And it seems like they should at least run a, some tests to find out. We asked Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority why they don't test for hexavalent chromium. A spokeswoman says they're taking their lead from the U.S. EPA, and right now the EPA doesn't require it. Jim Parsons, Channel 4 Action News.